I'm so excited to present to you a guy who grows his own corpse flowers. It's not the type, the giant type that's in the botanical garden. It's a, it's a taller, thinner type. And he grows them indoors and outdoors. Mostly he's growing them outdoors. But what I think is interesting, especially for this channel, is that he grows them through the winter. He overwinters the bulbs. And then there's some that he grows. And he gave me two of the bulbs. So I'm really excited to check them out and see how they grow indoors. And here, here is the video. So, um, what's your name? Dale. Dale. We'll use just first names so nobody looks you up. <laughs> They're gonna know where it is anyway. <laughs> so, the, um, tell me about what you're putting in right now. Well, what I'm planting right now are the voodoo lilies. I mean, it's a variety of that corpse lily. This is actually technically called a voodoo lily, but these are those ones that smell like a corpse and the bloom is indoors in the summer, or I mean in the winter. And then for the summer, I bring the plants outside and they form these big, like prehistoric fern looking things. It'll get eventually taller than the fountain and it gets a good four or five feet tall. And what do you mean they, they bloom in the winter? Well, what happens is it grows all summer and the bulbs, it feeds the bulb. The bulb will grow every year. It gets bigger and bigger as it's outside. Um, and you've got pictures of the one that's the size of us, uh, mm -hmm. like a soccer ball. And these are the bulbs of that? Those are the babies. Those are offspring babies that it made. Every summer it'll send out these long roots and form new babies and that's what those are. So these, so these were underground? Those were underground, I dug them up, yep. Yep. And, and then you just put them like in, what do you do in the winter? In the winter in the house I've got a big wooden box I built, it's full of dirt, uh -huh. with grow lights over it. And so, so yeah, this is the box. Oh, all my junk down here. Yeah, this is actually really interesting to see that. Yeah, I just built that out of wood and then uh, put plastic around it. Mm. This is absolutely doable. Well, let me show you then too, because this I got to roll out later today too. Is I have my palm tree for the front. This okay? Here's one of the grow lights. What? So yeah, this I winter in here, and then this is going to go out later today and by the front door. So but look at all the voodoo lilies. How I do you move this? Oh, I have a dolly cart all rigged up with wood frames. We have strap it to it, lean it over, and haul it out. But yeah, these are all voodoo. These are the same thing. I put one in here, and it's spread. I can't get them out because the roots from the palm tree, the whole pot is totally root-bound. You can't dig an inch into this soil. I'm just letting it go crazy. These are all voodoos starting to grow in it. So you just leave them in now? Yeah, I, just, I can't get them out. They're wound into the uh, root system. Of the and these are your full spectrum. These are actually, these well, are... That one is a regular, regular fluorescent. Yeah, those are fluorescents. That's the new LED that I bought. I'm going to, yeah, those are, those are fluorescents. I'm gonna... The old fluorescents are nowhere near as good as that LED puts on. No, it's, it's lights. impressive. Wow. That must be so heavy. It weighs, well, I've deliberately not watered it for over a week. Yeah. So I've reduced probably 10 pounds of water weight out of it. <laughs> that, that is amazing. Cool. And you're going to move it out next week then? No, next day or, oh, today next day or, or tomorrow. Two. Cool. Today or tomorrow. I'm I've, literally, out. I've literally been passing your yard. I've thought to myself, oh, where, do they, where do they must have a warehouse? That's <laughs> it has grown this winter like crazy. That new light, it grew like crazy with that new LED light. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is a, that's, that's epic. By the fall, these things actually die back and die off. I bring the bulbs in and put them in the dirt in the house. Uh -huh. And then somewhere in late January into February, they will start to bloom in the house. And it forms that the, the, the famous flower that smells so bad. <laughs> and, you know, I, you, I can send you a picture of full bloom. It's almost five feet tall or yeah. more, or six feet tall, the actual bloom. And so they flower in the house in the winter, and they need to go through that cycle so they will grow again for the next year outside. Right. Unfortunately, the flowers are gorgeous, but that smell, I've learned, I just can't keep them in the house very long. Right. <laughs> it, here's a unique thing about these. It's one of the only plants that generates heat. That center stalk, oh. it actually turns white, it gets hot. Really? It's one of the only plant species that generates heat, and that's how it pushes out the smell to attract the flies. Is it actually, and it feels warm? Uh, slightly warm, and I made the mistake one, the first year they flowered, I thought, well, I can tent it in plastic in the house. Yeah. It would cover it to keep the smell down. 
it made it worse because the whole inside steamed up and it came through the plastic. Steamed it got up. worse. All I can say is covering in plastic did not solve the problem. So in the so again in the winter you you have boxes that are with dirt and yeah. you, you and it just you don't cool it. It's just because the vent, the basement's cooler. The basement's cool. That's all it needs is the coolness of the basement. And I don't overwater them. It's just to keep them slightly moist. So you water them in the you don't just put them in there and leave it. No, they got to have a little bit of moisture and very little just to keep them from drying out too much because they are going to produce the flower. Would it be the same as um, was it alocasia, elephant ears? Um, not yeah. really, because they don't, they go dormant. You know, you put them into a dormant cycle. These really don't go dormant. They go through phases when you figure they're putting out that bloom. It's the hardest thing the plant will do is produce that flower stock to reproduce in the house. And do you, are there grow lights when you do that? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. There's grow lights over Because it, it is growing. Yep. Okay. And what kind of grow lights do you use? Well, I've switched to LEDs, just regular LED grow lights. They've got the multi-spectrum. You know, they're long, like, they look like four-foot fluorescent tubes. Yeah. But they're LED-based. So, they so got you the use multi the type range. where it's like four-foot by two-foot kind of, yeah. or even a foot. Either way, that type. Right. They're two strips of um, LEDs, and it's the multi-spectrum where it's got, you see, you look up and you see red and blue and white LED lights. It gives that full spectrum oh, if so you're growing indoor plants. Is it... And so it's full spectrum as in yeah. looks like daylight. Right, yep. Cool. I know you start seeing, in these neighborhoods, you start seeing a lot of purple lights now coming out of people's houses. Because yeah, they're these, more available now. Right. It doesn't have that purple. It looks more right. like daylight. It's daylight. Yeah. Full spectrum. Cool. Uh, um, is there anything else to know about, for anybody who would be trying to do this, because in, in, I think the indoor aspect is actually really key. Well, the only thing you need to know is it takes time. Like these babies that are in the box, that's what I got initially, and it takes up to five years for that to get big enough to flower. That's a key. That's a key so element. yeah, it doesn't happen instantly. You know that will that will produce um, the greenery outside. You will bring it in. You still got to bring it in for the winter. It'll rot, and our you know our climate won't. It'll kill it in the winter here. Right. But it won't produce the flower the first several years. Interesting. So, and then this is another one? These are, are That's these... a little baby. It's one of those babies that sprouted actually already in the house. That's a little tiny baby bulb. Okay, so, the, but these though. Well, how... those are just starting to shoot. You can see the little tips coming out. This, oh. Those are in different stages. The, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's starting to sprout, that little pink tip. I see. This one happens to be further along. There this are different stages. Sprouting. Oh, and this one's too. Oh, yeah. I see. Yep. And so this is going to become that. Yep. And then underneath, like this green cup, is a bulb that's actually bigger than this bulb, but it has it's just a little red tips. Yeah. It's up about an inch. Okay. That's what's under the cup so I don't step on it while I'm out here working. <laughs> it will grow up into one as big as this. Oh, interesting. Okay, so when you plant this outdoors, just to be just yeah. to clarify for people, when you plant this outdoors, you're putting number one, you're putting it on it so you don't step on it. But right, also, that's just so I know where it is. <laughs> how big would you say that bulb is? Well, the one that's here is about this big. Mm-hmm. And then there's one back there under a cup that's about this big. And I sent you the picture of it. It's about that big around. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's almost the size of a soccer ball. So how, how big are the planters that you have indoors? It's, it's probably pretty, pretty... about three foot by five foot and about a foot deep of dirt. So pretty big. Yeah, it's, it's not a big like, box of dirt. It's not industrial, but it's still pretty massive. Yeah, it's like a... a raised garden bed in my basement. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and do you... And you share this with other, this is like a... No, I, we own the building. It's a three you, flat that we own the building, yeah. Oh, so cool, cool. I can do what I want in the basement. <laughs> I've actually wondered that because because in the springtime, this is, well, in the summertime, this is like huge. And, yeah. and what he's saying is this is, these are enormous. And I've actually always wondered what these are. And so... Yeah, that's the, that's the actual plant that grows all summer. Right. Cool. And it will grow taller. It's just starting. It grows at a rapid pace. You'd be amazed. Come back in two yeah. weeks and see how much taller it I'll is. I'll do an update video on this because yeah. truly these are 
really miraculous looking. I, I, they're so crazy. Now, you, if you have the room, I know people who actually will grow these in their house year round. So you could have them as an indoor plant. Oh. Especially as they're still in the smaller phase. Mm -hmm. You could easily grow them and put them in pots and have grow them full time in a pot in your house. Because I have a Z, I have a ZZ plant that's indoors, which is probably s six foot by. Yeah. You know, it's it's yeah. it's a huge ZZ plant. Uh, I couldn't have multiple of them. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the room, yeah, these like if, if you took one of these bulbs, you could put it in a pot and start off in a fair sized pot, and yeah, just keep it permanently as a house plant. And for light, I mean, you, I mean, these are out. These are outdoors, so they're getting full well, Chicago light, at least. Right. Well, you'll notice they're in a spot where they get partial sun and then shade. They will not tolerate full sun all day. They'll fry them. That's actually good. To yeah. know. So that would actually be, yeah. So that it makes a makes, good house plant. Because makes better it, for a house plant. It does. It does not like full sun. we have like this huge sun. tree here. <laughs> I mean, there was, well, were there, there was trees? Another tree there, there another tree were, there, there were three more trees across the street. The half of that tree is missing. <laughs> there was a tornado. Was it? It was a tornado. It was yeah. an actual tornado. There was a tornado that went down the street last year. Uh, that was terrifying. But yeah, so there was previously more. <laughs> we lost a lot of trees. We lost a lot of trees. My whole garden has changed from a total, almost all shade to a 60% oh, sun right. garden. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of changes out here. Yeah, yeah. That's... That's actually really sucks. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, cool. Is it, um, I think that's. I think we covered everything. Okay. Yeah. Thoughts? You'll have to take one of those and let's see what you can do with it. Oh my god. There's your challenge. I'll take one. <laughs> so yeah, this is the box. Oh. All my junk down here. Yeah, this is actually really interesting to see that. Yeah, I just built that out of wood and then uh, put plastic around it. Hmm. This is absolutely doable. Well, let me show you then too, because this I got to roll out later today too, is I have my palm tree for the front. This, okay, here's one of the grow lights. What? So yeah, this I winter in here, and then this is going to go out later today and by the front door. So but look at all the voodoo lilies. How do you move this? Oh, I have a dolly cart all rigged up with wood frames. We have strap it to it, lean it over and haul it out. But yeah, these are all voodoo, these are the same thing. I put one in here and it's spread. I can't get them out because the roots from the palm tree, the whole pot is totally root bound. You can't dig an inch into this soil. I'm just letting it go crazy. These are all voodoo starting to grow in it. So you just leave them in now? Yeah, I, just, I can't get them out. They're wound into the uh, root system. Of the and palm these tree. are your full spectrum. These are actually, these well, are- That one is a regular, regular fluorescent. Yeah, those are that's fluorescents. That's the new LED that I bought. I'm gonna, yeah, those are, those are fluorescents. Gonna... The old fluorescents are nowhere near as good as that LED puts out. No, a lot it's it's light. impressive. Wow, that must be so heavy. It weighs well. I've deliberately not watered it for over a week. Yeah. So I've reduced probably ten pounds of water weight out of it. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. Cool. And you're gonna move it out next week then? No, next day. Oh, next today day or, or tomorrow. Two. Cool. Today or tomorrow. I'm I've cool. literally won I've literally. And passing your yard, I thought to myself, oh, where do they, sad. where do they must have a warehouse? That's <laughs> It has grown this winter like crazy. That new light, it grew like crazy with that new LED light. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is a, that's, that's epic. I'm going to continue to do updates of Dale's voodoo lilies and see where they're at. Rock is doing great. And here is the bulb. Currently, I have another one that's in a larger planter to see how it goes in a, in a larger planter, and that is in about the same pace right now. There we go.